Hi, it's Doug Belshaw at Moodle HQ here with Screencast 4 from UX Milestone 2 that we've been working on with Outlandish in August 2018. Let's get started. In this particular screencast, we're going to show you how a user called Funky is going to take a collection that she's been following on MoodleNet and import it into her Moodle site. So the first thing that Funky does is sign in with her MoodleNet account and she's taken to her featured page on the communities section. She wants collections though, so she goes to the navigation at the bottom, selects collections, and finds the collection that she was following back in Screencast 3, BTEC Outdoor Adventure Sport. So she finds that and finds the button to add to my Moodle. When she presses this button, it fires up on her mobile device, the Moodle mobile app. Now, Funky has not used the Moodle mobile app yet, so she needs to configure it. She puts in her site address, and then she puts in her Moodle site's username and password. In future, this might be her Moodle net account, but right now it's her Moodle site username and password. Moodle asks her, would you like to import the collection BTEC Outdoor Adventure Sport? She says yes, and because she's got the privileges to do so, Moodle asks her whether she'd like to import the collection into an existing course or whether she'd like to create a new course. She wants to create a new course because she's thinking about a course that she's going to teach next year. She enters the name Draft B Tech Sport 2019 and presses Save and Import. MoodleNet then sends the collection over to Moodle and it's imported into her new course, which she can now preview. There it is, B Tech Outdoor Adventure Sport. It tells you that it's a collection curated by BTEC Adventurers on MoodleNet, and it has the description. So you can see there's eight different resources here. One of them is a, is a zip file, which is downloaded from Tez Resources. So it's got a link to that original collection there on Tez Resources, the zip file. And it's imported that as a folder. Uh, another one is Sports Nutrition. This is a Moodle quiz. So she has a look at this, makes sure that it works, and then goes out of there. And then third and finally, she has a look at Expedition Leadership. This is a link through to the Sports Leaders UK website and make sure that that works. So that particular collection from MoodleNet has been imported successfully into her Moodle site and she can start using that to build the course that she's going to teach next year. This is a prototype. This has no code behind it. So we'd love to have your feedback on what you think is useful here. Does the flow work? Is there anything else you're expecting to see? Please do leave your comments and your feedback either on the YouTube video or anywhere that it's embedded, for example, on the MoodleNet blog or at moodle.org.